Yo Rabbi say so this week's parsha <clears throat> Lech Lecha, we have the first uh Dibur of Akadush Borhu to Avram of Binu. Bayoima Hashem al Avram Lech Lecha me Artiko, me Moiladiko, me base of Vicha, El Ho Oretz, Asher Areko. To the land that I will show you, Rashi says, Asher Areko, Loi Gilo Loi Horetz, Miyad. He didn't reveal to him. <clears throat> Initially, where uh, he's going to, and why says Rashi Kedei lechavavo be'eno that by not knowing his destination, by not knowing where he's going to, that uh, somehow makes his destination more chaviv, more beloved in his eyes. Why is that? Why is the not knowing? Why does the not knowing enhance the chavivus? We can say perhaps that you know, obviously, with to go to go without knowing where you're going is uh, more difficult than if you uh, know where you go. And the more difficult the going is, that the difficulty enhances the chavivos. Why am I saying that? Rashi says in Parshish Chaye Sora, <clears throat> on the Pasek Sim No Yodcho Tachas Yerechi. Rashi says, Lafisha Hanishba, Tsorich Sheyito Biyodoi Chayfetz Shel Mitzvah. Yeah, Nikita Chayfetz by a Shvua. But why did he choose this particular mitzvah, Yodcho Tachas Yerechi? So Rashi Lafisha Hoysa Mitzvah Rishoin Oloi. Ubo al yedei tsar hoiso chavivaloi benotlo. So Rashi says that why was the mila chaviv? Because it was the first mitzvah, and also because because it was bo loy al yedei tsar. That the pain that uh, it involved, that's what made it more chaviv. You know, the Gemara says in Bav Metzia that. Uh, so if somebody finds a chitim, a bushel of chitim, and it's disintegrating, he shouldn't sell it and save the money for the loser, but rather he should hold on to it even though it's disintegrating, because even if only a tenth will be left, the farmer prefers a tenth of his own produce over ten times that much from the, of bought produce. As Rashi says, mm-hmm. The toil makes it chaviv. So you see that something that is bought even though he's buying it with his money, let's say, it doesn't have that same chavivus. It's the toiling in the field. It's the planting. It's the first the charisha, then the zriya, and then the ktsira, and the whole process. That's why, how a person develops a connection with his kav sheloi, which is above and beyond tisha kav mishol chavere. And therefore, by not telling Avram Avinu where he's going, which makes the going much more difficult. That's what makes his destination much more chaviv, because the difficulty enhances the chavivus. Umbemis, it says like that in the Maral in the Gur Arye, right here. He says, Upirush ze, de loy gila loy miyad, kedei lechavav abeino, jakashe ein megale loy miyad hadovor chaviv. Nipnei. So because he didn't know, it makes him have more tsar, and the having more tsar makes more chavivus. You know, there's a pasuk in Hoshea, Yud Gimel Ches, where the Navi says, in the name of the Rabbi Nishalolam, Ef Geshem Kedoiv Shakul Vaekras Gor Libam. I will meet them like a mother bear a bereaved mother bear who, who, who lost her children. 
and I will rip their hearts apart. So the Radak says, Kedoiv Shakul, Shehorgu Bonov, the children were killed, Wuhu Shakul Umar Nefesh, Vim Yimtsa Odom Oy Behema, Yevak Aim Mehero, I'll rip them apart. Why doesn't he take as an example a lion or a tiger? So it says the Radak Oimrim, they say, That a bear gives birth to a baby in a very thick placenta. And um, So it involves a, a, a great effort on the mother's from the mother in order to bring bring this baby out. It's a tremendous yegir until she gets rid of the. Covering Bosor Vietze Havlad, Ulafi She Torcho Harbe Boy, He Moras Nefesh Yoisek Shiyargu Oisai. That the mother bear is much angrier than any other animal when she loses her child because of the effort that it involved to bring this child out because she's Moilid Bishilya of a Moid. In other words, the more you Effort you invest, the deeper the connection is. And that's the idea that that the Tsar and the Omol is Moilid Chavivus. You know, the Gemara says in the Megillah, somebody tells you that I toiled, I exerted myself, I worked hard, and I didn't find, don't believe it. Lo yogati umatsasi altam. And somebody says, I didn't work hard. And nevertheless, I found, don't believe him. Yogati umatsasi tamen. If somebody tells you, I, I toiled and I found, that's that's what you should believe. Now, l'chayra, it's, it's something that we find very hard to understand. Maybe it's no wonder that he says tamin and loy tamin. It's about believing because it's not uh, obvious. Uh, to us, it would seem that some people uh, are successful without much effort. I mean, look, they uh, people win the lottery, yeah. So, so uh, you can't say uh, that there's no matzasi without yogati. But you know, as we know, that most people that win the lottery, they. Uh, they lose all their money uh, very, very fast. You know, it's easy come, easy go. There's no real connection between the, the, the person and his possessions if it doesn't entail effort. It's the effort that makes the connection. And that's why Rabbi Yitzchok is saying <clears throat> in Torah that Somebody might be very bright and he gets it on the first try. But you know, if that happens, he's not really developing a connection with the Torah that he might even know. He knows it, but the knowledge is external. And it's, in a sense, almost as if meaningless because he didn't develop a real connection. I mean, today this is common because we have uh, so many uh, aids in learning. I mean, sometimes you have Gemaras where they give you, uh, you know, every every possible uh, kasha with eight different terutsim. <clears throat> so before you even have a chance to really be bothered by a kasha, you already have so many different solutions uh, before you even had the problem. And in, in, in this kind of learning, you don't really develop a connection. It just, uh, it's a lo yogati umatsasi al-tamen. Because the connection is the uh, bemas gebait on, on the effort. You know, the Gemara says in, uh, no, the Gemara says in Brachas, the Gemara says, Agra, the Shmaitza, Svorat. 
Rashi says, Shehu yogeya v'toyreach u'mechashiv lahoven tamay shel dover. What's the ikir tzchar? What's the reward <clears throat> of the shmaitzer, of the sugya, the svara? Shehu yogeya v'toyreach u'mechashiv lahoven tamay shel dover. So in other words, even though avada the 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 tachlis is la suke shmaitzer alibe the hilchese. But we're saying <clears throat> that it's really not <clears throat> the Iker is really not the bottom line. The Iker is what's above the bottom line. The Iker is not the destination. The Iker is the journey towards that destination. Agra de Shmaitze Svara. It's not the Shmaitze in itself, but it's the Svara that brings you there. And the Rambam says in the Pirish of Mishnais, in the end of uh, the fifth parak in Ovis, on the mission of Ben Hey Hey, Oimer, Lefum, Tsaro, Agro, he says, Omar Ben Hey Hey, Lefimasha Titzta'er Betoyran, Yiya Schorcha. The more pain, the more scar. Omru, Shelo Yiskayim Min Hachochme. So the Rambam says this is not about a reward in Oilam Haber. Lefum Tsaro, Agro. It's about the level of connection that one has with his learning. So, Tafka, the Torah that he learned with difficulty, that's what's Omdoli, and Shleim HaMelech was the Chochem Mikol Odom. But nevertheless, he says that the real Chochma <coughs> that was Neskayim, Beyodoi, is the Torah Shalomadeti Ba'af, and that's the idea of Lafum Tsaro Agro. So, the, the the Gemara says in the, you know in 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 Menachis Daf Zayin Amidalev that Rav Chista was the Talmud of Avimi, and it happened that Rav Chista the Rebbe forgot a Masechta. I don't know exactly what the parameters of a Masechta in the Lashna Gemara is. The Gemara says it's Aker Le Masechta. So he went, so he went to his Talmud Rav Chista Laat Kuri Gemara. He went to his Talmud Rav Chista. <clears throat> that he should remind him his learning. The Rebbe went to the Talmud, asks the Gemara, the lish lechlei, the lish lechabe. I mean, after all, uh, Avimi was the Rebbe. Why didn't he send a message that uh, the Talmud, Rav Chista, should come to the Rebbe? So the Gemara says, Sovar hochi mistaye milsitfei. He felt, he held, that this way it'll work out better. So Rashi says, mistaye milsa. Why? Mishum yogati umatsosi. So Rashi says that by the Rebbe going to the Talmud in order that he should remind him the Masechta that he forgot, so this is a Yagati Umatsasi. In other words, the Yagi is not only in the Limud <coughs> itself, but in everything that surrounds it. And this Yagi will enhance the Metzia of the learning. So here it was uh, Avimi who went to his Talmud of Chistan. We have another Gemara in Bava Kama, Davchof, Amid Beis, where Rav Chista said to Rami Bar Choma, who was Rav Chista's Talmud, Masnisen, he, it's about the Chiyuv of Nene, he says it's a Mishnah. Amalei, hey Masnisen, he, so the, 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 the Rami Bar Choma, the Talmud, is the Rebbe, which Mishnah? Amalei, lechita shamishli. If you'll serve me, I'll tell you. The Rashi says, "Kishetishamsheni shimush echod oy malacha." I'll tell you if you do, if you serve me in some way. Shokal sudre karachle. So the Gemara says he took his scarf and he tied it for him, and that was the shimush that he did for his Rebbe. And then the Rebbe said, "I'll tell you the the amali menenis mishalemis mashenenis." He told him the Mishnah. So. Why was why was Rav Chista asking Rami Bar Choma to do a service in order that he should reveal to him the Mishnah? 
I would say that maybe Rav Chista learned from his Rebbe, Avimi, who came to visit him when he forgot a Masechta. So he learned the, 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 the Yisoid of, of, of Yogato Matsoso, that the more effort one puts into his learning, the, the more it's Meskayim Biyodoy, and therefore he demanded of his Talmud, Yomi Bar Choma, that before he tells him the Mishnah, he should do something for it. It shouldn't come so easy, because if he'll do something for it, then it'll be Meskayim Biyodoy. You know, there's a Sefer Leket Yosher from the Talmud of the Truma Sadeshen, who uh, writes, uh, it's all Sefer about his Rebbe's uh, Hanhogis. So he brings in the name <coughs> of the Truma Sadeshen, and this is his Loshen. Oisam habachurim ha'ashirim, those rich bachurim ha'mefunakim, they're spoiled. She'osu lahem shulchonos k'sheyoshvim b'mkoimon ha'ifchim ha'shulchon la'ezet zad she'yirzu va'olav svarim. So they had some kind of contraption where they had the svarim arranged on some kind of a thing, and they would spin it, and the safer that they wanted would come closest to them, and then they would pull it out. So he says, Oisom ha-shirim ha-bachurim ha-shirim ha-mofunokim. She'osu lohem shulchonois. Hishayoshvim b'mkoimon. Hoifchen ha-shulchon la'ezi tzad she'yitzu v'olof svarim. Loi toiv hei moisin. It's not a good thing. Adirabe. If you have to get up and look for the Sefer, if you, if you get up, you look for the Sefer, and then you learn it, so then you'll remember through that Maise what you're learning. So again, it's the Yogata, Umatsasa, the more effort you put in, the more you remember but it's not only about remembering, but it's also about developing a connection, a real connection, and having a chavivus. And, and that's what the Maharal is saying, that loy gila loy ha'oret. Hidei, lechava v'be'enov, means because going without knowing where you're going is, 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 mitztair, achrov. And therefore it gives you, because you don't know, you mitzvah, and therefore it gives you a higher level of chavivus. That's the idea of lech lecha meyatzicha, mi meyladzicha, mi beis avicha. You know that in Medrashi Chazal it says that Avram Avinu was uh, the, began the tikkun of the chet eitz adas, which also has to do with this because the chet eitz adas was vehayisem keelohim yoyde toiv bara, which is knowing. And uh, the loy gila loy aretz is going without knowing. And that's the tikkun, because the going without knowing is difficult. That's part of the tikkun of bezeas apecho toicha lechen, koitz vedardor tatzmiach loch. In other words, the making it making it difficult. You know, listen, so this is not about creating difficulties for oneself. But it's uh, acknowledging that the uh, difficulties are sometimes uh, beneficial, yeah, and and uh, and this is uh, and and also failure, also setbacks, because just like Avram Avinu says in Parshas Vayera Vayehi ki hisu oisi Elohim mi base ovi, Rashi says Lios meshoitet v'nad mi mokam lemokam, and Avram Avinu had the setback where he had to go back Vayira of Boritz, and from that. Uh, that's that's really uh, where growth is at. Sometimes they say today that uh, um, overprotective parenting produces failure-deprived children who don't develop the ability to deal with challenges and, uh, and have no uh, resilience. So you see, the Jewish people, I mean, this is the first that was given to the first Yid. The wandering Jew has been doing this for thousands of years, and we still uh, have the courage to go on because we recognize that uh, difficulties and setbacks are all part of our growth, and it's all part of what enables us to move forward and upward. Yeah. Ki olecha eneinu, 
and uh, and nevertheless we keep on doing and trying and uh, life is about trial and error and uh, more often than not it's more tr- more error than trial but 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 the I mean not more error than trial but more error than success but the point is the point is that nevertheless we have the courage to go on and we grow from our experience David is a health and we should all have a good job and continue in the journey okay